please remember to hit like and subscribe and perhaps even become a member or patreon to support the channel also i want to give a super special shout out to all my awesome tier 3 members and patrons riptide anik d z wanderer matthew hall charlene kelly and yoshiko bay for their amazing support it really helps and means a lot hey guys and welcome back to simonist that i darkness falls mod so yeah uh last episode was epic <laughs> we got a ton of laser tech actually made new tests of here uh we have a ton of laser swords and stuff i should actually keep one of these on me uh but what i'm gonna be carrying around uh, for now is a laser pistol if we come across any demon zombie or anything and they're vomiting at us you literally hit them once with this and then it's so easy to kill them with coil pistols at the moment between every single shot without laser tech they just regen 100 hp like every second it's insanely fast Also, guys just a quick thing uh before we continue um remember i mostly pre-record my videos for the week because i'm uh, very busy during the week uh this week however my mother has had bronchitis so i've been at the crash every day from six till seven so 13 hours and then i come back and i have to record and i was just too lazy last weekend so if you guys are new patrons or members please 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 remember um if you don't see your name at the beginning of the video it will be in the next week's videos the nice thing is i just saw there's a yoshika bay i think um that became a new uh youtube member and it was like three days ago that, that that person became a member and i didn't even realize because i've been just so busy at work so i do apologize um the nice thing is if i do videos during the week like this i can put it in the beginning of the video so yeah that saves us a little bit of time but if you don't see your name the whole week just know the next week it will be there because usually on weekends i check who became new members and patrons and stuff and you get a shout out to my videos okay but yeah um the future is now guys Oh, I am so happy right now. Also, before we continue, I want to show you guys this quickly. I am making sand. Okay, I already made sand in all of these. And I'm busy making cement in these. As you guys can see, there's still a lot on the timer left over here. Um, I think if we invest in the forge skill over here. I'll show you guys this. If we go for like... If we can't unlock... Wait, what's this? Oh, already available in labor class. So we go to labor class over here. We need to max these out because it actually gives you... No, this is just for XP, right? Reduce crafting time of workbenches by 20%. Forge recipes by 5%. Yeah, crafting time of forge recipes. So that means if I were to invest a point in this right now and I take this out and I take it back or I cancel and make it go back in again, it's not going to be like 102 minutes anymore. It's going to be like 90 or 80 something. But guys, I want to use my points for now in this new class. I know it's a waste. You can... You can just make more of those red books and invest them over here. But guys, I want to be able to get these over here. And I think that's only available from like level 3. We are level 1 right now. So it's 2 points we're going to invest. Wait, this says we need to be level 100. No! Oh, okay, so we're 7 levels away. Basically, we need to invest in the next one. Uh, that's going to be this one. And then in this one, that's... Ooh, play level 125. As soon as I think we have this... We're going to be able to go for this over here. Yeah, I just realized this has been changed. Unless this is a mistake. Now I understand what my one subscriber was on about. Um, basically, guys, biological boost is supposed to be accelerated healing and got to go fast. Physical conditioning and transhuman is supposed to be technology boosts. So if I unlock this and I'm able to go for accelerated healing and this, it means that this is just, it's a bug. It's supposed to be gotta go fast and accelerate healing are supposed to be together. Okay, now, dude, uh, sorry, I now understand what you were on about. Um, yeah, even Kane said, if you go for biological boost, you can do both of these. But the sub said that you can actually go for one year and one year. And that's because this one and this one is actually supposed to be under biological. That's why you can go for one under biological and one under technological. Uh, technological. So this is also just going to take, I think, let me just see, that's got to go fast. If you do this, got to go fast. What's the recipe? Yeah, Demon Essence. See, it's Demon Essence, but it's under the wrong table over here. Got to go fast, it's under Technological Boost. That's um, Nanites. So that's why, I, uh, guys, for those of you that encountered this and wondered what the hell's going on, just know, these two are not supposed to be together. Transhuman and physical conditioning goes under technological. You need uh, nanites. Accelerated healing, gotta go fast, is actually under biological. That's why these two require demon essences and these two require nanites. Okay, cool. 
now I am caught up. <laughs> okay, anyways, um, for those of you wondering how I got so much stone, I was actually busy showing that just now. Look at this. I was on the uh, lookout for iron because we need way more quail ammo. Uh, was I busy crafting some of it yet? Nope. We are super, super low when it comes to scrap polymers. Look at that. Only 745 uh, left. Um, ammo parts. At least we have a ton of quail batteries left over here. Basically, what I want to do with that iron, instead of using iron and clay and lead to make the armor piercing tips, that the black tips, I'm only going to use lead and clay for the tips, and then the iron, I saw, you guys just saw the four point something, with clay is going to give us the steel casings. Because then with the tips and the casings, we can make the normal 0.44 quail rounds, not the armor piercing ones. Obviously, the armor piercing ones are way better, um, way stronger, but they actually require so much iron, and we just don't have that at this stage. Okay, so let's quickly do this. Boom, 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 and that. This one over here, I'm actually going to do this with then. So we're going to stop these for now. We're going to go for bullet casings. Yep, that's all the iron we have. That means it's 1,400 bullet casings that we can have right now. And then I'm also going to go for the bullet tips. Obviously, we're not going to be able to wait that long, but I just want to make sure that is in there. Who knows? Perhaps I forget about it, and then after a while, I'm, when I need the ammo, it's going to be there. But yeah, I need to make concrete mix right now. So all the cement over here and all the sand, all that stone together is going to make it. Now, for those of you wondering where the hell I got all those resources, I actually made a mine that I want to show you guys quickly. I also got a wandering horde from over there. I killed them all over here on this side. So, and this time around, there was no titan for some reason. Although I'm not complaining. It was just uh, radiated zombies. And that was awesome. But yeah, as you guys can see, I dug down over here. I thought it's really deep, but it's not really. Not all that much. Now, this goes 100 blocks in that direction. Then it moves three blocks over, and the third one comes back. So in between the hallways, there's two blocks. One, two. So these hallways of you guys are all 100 blocks wide. Now, unfortunately, I didn't come across any iron. This is uh, coal. And let me just go back down. I think over there or something, there is, uh, what do you call it, nitrate. I got a little bit. I wonder where I found it again. Somewhere over here, I actually got a little bit of iron. That's why I got 4.5k iron. But I thought I was going to be able to find way, way more. It was actually a boulder right there, a small, like that kind of boulder. that had iron in it. So if you dig down, there's supposed to be an iron vein. So if I keep digging on the side, or I just dig up three blocks and then make a hallway on top of this hallway. So instead of the hallway being one, two, there's going to be a third block, which is going to be the floor we walk on. And the fourth and fifth block, I'm going to dig. If I do that, I might actually encounter more iron, but we're going to get definitely way more uh, concrete. But for now, that's awesome. We need as much concrete as possible. The only problem is uh, this base is not protected. And with all my forges working and stuff, we do get screamers. And guys, you don't want screamers in Darkest Souls. They are OP as hell. When they scream, you want to run. You don't want to be near your base or anything like that. Now, at this stage, yeah, we don't have any turrets or anything protecting us over here. I want to make more of these forges. So instead of having to wait 102 minutes, we divide it between another forge and that's only like 50 minutes. But with that many forges running, we'll definitely get way too many screamers. Okay, so for now, let's put this away. I want to check now. We don't need the M4A1 at the moment. I know it might be a dumb mistake throwing that away, but I'll show you guys why I'm doing this right now. So we do that. The shotgun, we don't really use all too much, so we'll do this, or we can actually do that. Now, the reason we're doing this, let me just move that up. This is our main O shotgun. So we're going to be using the uh, the knife and the shotgun. If we encounter really strong zombies, we we use the quill pistol. And if it's a demonic zombie, we fire one shot into the zombie of this and then kill them with a quill pistol. That way, we don't use 20 shots per demonic zombie, but only like eight or so. Or perhaps even less if we get better aim. So for now, I'm just going to do that. That is 11 slots. I need the advanced tactical rigging. I don't know why my caps lock is on. Advanced tactical rigging under master security, guys. It's going to uh, free these slots up for me over here. I need to be able to just move easily. Oh, wow. That, that reloads fast. Okay, so what I want to do, actually, this episode is I want to go. Now it's there. Remember we did a quest or we wanted to do a quest for Razor over there, but we couldn't find its quest. That's it. Retrieve some supplies. Now, all of a sudden, it shows on the map. It didn't show last time. 
And I was so bummed because you need to be able to tell where it is. So what we could do is let's go for the fetch first, then for the man eater, then the supplies. We hand the supplies back into Razor, except the next quest because he's like Eve. He gives you a quest line. I wonder if he said uh, sends you to the small bunker as well. Because basically the Eve quest, the last one you have to do is a small bunker. So if that resets, we can get more laser tech. Uh, but apparently, guys, uh, Kane com commented on my video. You do not get uh, fusion forges at Caitlyn anymore. You can't buy them anymore. And then he said, he didn't say anything about buying the laser bench. He just said the laser bench isn't at Caitlyn anymore. So I wonder where the laser bench then is. Is it under another trader that I don't know of yet? Uh, the Wandering Trader? Is it under Razor? Is it under Eve? Or just you can't buy it, you have to go for the big bunker. For those of you who don't know, the big bunker is insane. <laughs> Uh, it's in the wasteland, so you have to have radiation protection and other mod uh, pieces on you. And that's not even the worst part, because, I mean, it's a bunker full of behemoths and demons and stuff. Okay, so I wonder where this quest is going to be. Hopefully, we can just get the final stash. Since this is a fetch quest, I don't think it's a clear, right? I think it's just a fetch quest. I just heard a fat zombie over there somewhere. Are they still inside trying to get out? But yeah, this is just a fetch. I'm not going to do a clear with these massive factories. Because a fetch, all you have to do is you have to get the thing that you need. And then what you can do then is you can just go for the final stash. You don't have to waste ammo clearing the whole PRI again. That's what I'm going to do right now. So I'm going to do this. As you know, show that the... Oh no, it shows that the fetch is on the same level we are. So it's downstairs. It's not even upstairs. Okay, let's just see. The timer or the, the marker shows we are getting closer to it. 54 meters away. 51 meters away. It's going to be at the back of here somewhere. I'm going to be able to just go in and grab it, right? Please tell me that's going to be the case. 20 meters away. 15, 10, 6. Oh, I'm right here. The fetch is right here. Okay, I don't know if it's going to be up or down, but it shows it's right here. So we can do this. I need to be careful though. I'm close to the wasteland over here, so there might be demons and stuff. Oh, you are? Tough bikers and stuff. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Now, fortunately, I have to waste this ammo on this guy because he's tough. Did this whole place just wake up because I attacked the building? Oh, I need to be careful. I can't afford to get too, too uh, far away from this building now. Unfortunately, I just woke up all the zombies. It's so, now it's a clear, uh, clear quest. It was a fetch, now it's a clear. I need to get my shotgun stronger. The shotgun's way too weak in my opinion right now. But yeah, um, I'm more worried about demonic zombies right now. That's what I'm trying to look out for. It seems in Alpha 20, guys, it's not the red, um, it's not red flames anymore. It's a black, oh, it's a, a orbit belt. It looks like there's meteors on the belt of the zombie. That's what we're looking for right now. If we see uh, black smoke, it's a tough zombie. And if we see something with like, it looks like a meteor belt around its waist, that's a demonic zombie. The belt does look like it's sometimes going up, like a charcoal flame or something. But there's no actual flames like in Alpha 19. In Alpha 19, you can actually see a hole. Can I go in here? Oh, it's right there. In Alpha 19, it was actually like, it, it looked like you set the zombie alight with the Molotov. That was changed. Was that a behemoth? Okay, it says return to trader. Since we reset this building right now, the final stash is back. So I'm actually thinking of quickly going to get this final stash. We might actually encounter a demonic zombie right now, so I need to be careful. I uh, hope I have enough blocks. Let's just turn the light off. The feral sense it's weird that the vultures over here haven't attacked me yet. There's a vulture to the left over there. There's a vulture to the right over there. There's another one over there. So I think as soon as I start shooting up here, we're going to get zombies in our faces. I'm trying to not make noise. Oh, that's just a radiated smoke. See, most of the zombies, even the ones that are just radiated, also give off smoke. So the demonic zombies give off smoke and fire. You know, we don't have to worry about these guys. No, there might be another vulture. I need to be careful of the vultures pushing me in. Other than that, let's just get up. Let's just get up. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Get up and shoot. 
Oh crap. Oh, that's not good. Guys, I know there is more boxes, like gun boxes, down below. So if I were to go through the bottom of the floor, there is actually, I think it's in that pillar over there going down. Shotgun, Messiah. No, it's not that one over there. It might actually be because it's part of the building. In one of these pillars, there's actually a shotgun messiah box down there, down below. Or well, three of them. It's like a important off section of the base that you don't really uh, come across often. Okay, oh, I need to put that on. Right now, I don't know if I need the egg or if I want the egg speed. Or if I want the uh, good loot. But to carry around two glasses actually takes up a slot for no reason at all. Nice. I love the fact that we can break through chests this fast. Also, you guys might have noticed we have a level 61 auger and axe and um, steel pick as well. I use the steel pick to go mining. That's how I got so much stuff. Anyway, the butchering tools. I could have sworn we had that one already. Butcher. Yeah, we have that one maxed. But it shows over here that we don't have it maxed. So what I'm going to do is scrap it then. Because I need the notes. Okay, do this. Come on, give me some good stuff. Okay, we do need coil parts and stuff, but guys, we need a racetrack. I need some scrap polymers, and the only way to get that is from, like, a lot of tires. So when I come across tires, when I drive past them, I need to actually stop for every single one. But to do that is actually such a waste of time. Okay, technically I should kill all these zombies. He just dropped loot bag, didn't he? Yeah. I need to kill these zombies because I'll get a ton of XP. But I really don't want to waste all this ammo. This gun is the best gun to take them down with. But it's still a waste of ammo to shoot them like this. Come on. Stand still. These are armor piercing rounds I'm wasting right now. Okay, that guy is almost dead. No, it's not. I hope the other zombies can't get up to me because as soon as this guy is down, I want to loot the bag and then I want to go for the other quests. There you go. Come on, give me some stuff, give me some stuff. Eh, it's okay, give me some food at least. It's not the greatest of stuff, but it's something. Okay, um, yeah, did these birds wake up now? It seems like it, because I don't see any zombies. As you guys can hear, there's zombies all over this place clobbering it, so we need to be careful right now. Oh, I just realized my lights are still off. Yeah, all the zombies inside this place have now woken up, and they're trying to get to me. But since it's not a clear quest, we don't have to worry about killing them. I'm just glad I destroyed the demon gate over here. Having to face a ton of demonic zombies right now is gonna suck. Why do I suck with headshots so often now? I used to be able to do headshots way easier. Oh, you are fast. It feels like my mouse's sensitivity is off or something. I'm trying to hit the head of the zombie, but it feels like my aim is just way, way, way off. There you go. We have so much shotgun ammo right now, I want to just use my shotgun for a while. I mean, we're getting free XP right now, that's why I'm actually killing these zombies. We're taking the time to kill them. Yeah, it's definitely the sensitivity of the mouse right now. I'm not going to go for every single zombie I see, but if they come, and come at me in mass like that, I'm definitely going to take it personally. See, if I take all of these wheels over here... But I need to range them. That's nine scrap polymers right there. So technically, I need to go for every single tire I see. Do you know how long it's going to take? That's why we need a race course, because there's a ton of these tires at the racetrack. Okay, uh, so we're going to do the man-eater quickly. I just really hope the man... I, I think the man-eater might be a level five. Yeah, it's a level five quest this time. Because remember, I said since we now have laser tech, we can do level five scout quests. Which means the scout rewards are going to be way better, but the scout um, quests themselves are going to be tougher. So what I basically need to do right now is, technically I need to uh, take some cobble, uh, make a pillar around myself so the zombies can't really tell where I am. It's going to be uh, wasting resources every time we do a quest like that. And then I can hide inside the pillars as the demonic zombies um, encroach on me. Because then, as they get close enough, you can go from there. Wait, is there a treasure map? Oh, that's a treasure that we have to get. But yeah, um, as the demonic zombies then get closer, I can jump out, shoot them with some laser tech, and that's it. The moment you accept a quest, like this exclamation mark, they spawn around you. So you don't want zombies from all around just get, uh, getting at you. So for example, over here now, where's this marker? 
I need to make a box around me so the zombies can't immediately vomit. You just know these demonic zombies are going to vomit. Hello? Are you going to help me? Okay, so let's do this. I'm going to put this on. Demonic zombies. Okay, let's just quickly kill these zombies together. Now we accept this. Oh crap, I just messed up already. Okay, I need to run in a circle. See, the way I'm on fire right now, that's what's the effect that used to be for the demonic zombies. Oh, they're fast. Oh crap, oh, please don't tell me I'm gonna die like this. I need to hit them with laser tech and then kill them from there, but I'm moving so slow. Oh, there's a ton of them. Oh, why is there so many of them? Why is there so many of them? Come on, come on, come on. I'm too slow, I'm too slow. It says return to trader, so we don't have to kill all of them. I think if I get a hit one more time, I'm gonna go. Let's go. We don't have to kill all of them. We did a quest as far as we needed to. I need to run in a circle or something. Ooh. Go, 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 go. I thought it was gonna be like two or three zombies. Look at this. It's a whole horde of demonic zombies. Now, I could actually kill them and pick them off, but I need to get some distance between me and them. At this stage, if I take on too many at a time, that's going to be the death of me. But if I can do this... Okay, and then do this. They're going to be much easier to kill after they've got some laser tech in them. Okay, nice. See, most of them now have laser tech in them. Heal yourself, John. Heal yourself. Guys, I'm too slow. I need to work on my stamina. I need to make sure all of them have been hit by laser tech. Otherwise, they are going to heal themselves. Okay, some of them die just I need to go for the loot that they drop. I'm not gonna be full of vomit again. Did I just almost kill all no He's eating himself. Oh crap. Oh crap, set yourself out, John. If I get it with another ball head on, I'm dead. But yeah, one of them actually was not hit with laser tech. You can actually see it because he's healing. Now I do this. See, he's not healing himself. You can actually see his HP is standing still. So killing him is faster, but I did not expect that many demonic zombies just now. That was insane. Oh, my heart actually stood still when I saw them. I, I thought, why am I taking so many hits? <laughs> and then when you see a whole army of demonic zombies after you, are like, oh, crap. You only have to kill one of them to complete the quest. But they do not despawn. So later when you drive through this area, you're screwed. Now where is my bike? Let me just drive to my drone quickly. Oh guys, that was actually unnecessary just now. I just wasted a ton of coil ammo as well. So if I do more of these quests, I am definitely going to have to build myself a bunker around me. So I can take a, uh, down the zombies one at a time. Because if they all vomit at me like that and I'm so this slow as I'm in right now, it's impossible. Okay, damn. Did not have any repair kits on me. I cannot believe I almost died just now from a dumb reason like that. The goes to show you have to stop. Especially, imagine this was a Dead is Dead series. You do a level 5 quest like that and it's just... Uh, I think it was like 10 plus demonic zombies just now. I think you'd, you'd cry. you just cry. There's no way you don't, you don't cry in a situation like that because you just know you're going to die. Uh, but we do need to see if we can't invest in our armor skill a bit, guys. We need to be able to move with our steel armor. The steel armor at the moment is so heavy. That's another uh, thing about using titanium armor. It's light armor. So even though it doesn't uh, protect you as much, you're faster in it. That's what I need right now. Okay, do I have food or anything? Because my HP is super low right now. I have a ton of stuff spawned around me right now. I'm dead. Okay, where is this chest? Oh, there. 
Okay, we just had zombie spawn. Okay, and there are a few tough zombies. That's why I'm just using quill ammo right now. Oh crap, don't fall on my head. Oh wow, there's a ton of zombies just from one first. Oh wow, um, I might just get overwhelmed right now. The fact that I have to waste spawn ammo is a lot. Why did so many spawn? Was this a wandering ward as well? Oh crap, this might have been a wandering ward. Come on, stand up. Okay, now the door blocks and everything's bugging out. Please don't let the loot fall through the floor. Yeah, how many zombies just spawned for this one quest? That's insane. And I think it's because of its, uh, the fact that it's a razor quest that we just had that many zombies spawned. Let's put that on just in case the zombies drop some good stuff. Just now, if I used my shark, I would have been dead. We would have been dead just now. There might actually be even more zombies spawning as soon as I open this up. Yep, okay, let me just get away from over here. Yeah, I need to aim precisely right now. Come on, throw through the gap. There you go. Oh, nice. We got my cool weapon needs repairs soon. Where are you, dude? Guys, it seems the Razor Quest are going to be way tougher than we thought. The fact that this many zombies spawn every time is insane. I think that was the last one. I didn't even have the right glasses on just now. That's how much I panicked. I don't have food, so I can't heal myself. Okay, uh, no, just use this. I want to make sure that if we get some good loot, it's going to be good quality as well. Damn. I thought it was a wandering horde with the size of the uh, horde just now, or the zombies just now. But nope, it was just because it was a razor quest. Now we know the next razor quests are going to get even bigger and bigger and bigger. Um, Wait. Don't I hand it in at razor? Return to trader, right? Retrieve some supplies, show on the map. Yeah, it's definitely... For some reason, these quests seem bugged. It's definitely Razor over there's quest. So we're going to go to uh, Razor and just hand this in then. And it seems there's two quests in one, guys. We... I remember I accepted one. It didn't show on the map. I accepted another one. didn't show on the map. Um, this looks... Yeah, it's the same one. I accidentally accepted it twice because it didn't show. And now that it shows, we have two quests in one. So I'm going to get double rewards for this. Just because the trader doesn't show on the map where you're supposed to go and retrieve supplies. I should probably just go and mark Razor on the map as well. Because then I know exactly where it is. I can't I don't know why it doesn't show that Razor is here. Okay, can we jump on this side? Yes, it's gonna be up here. Okay, so it shouldn't matter. Yeah, we're gonna use this one just in case the rewards require them. Let's see, let's see. Oh, it's crappy rewards for the amount of zombies we just got. So we'll take that, and I think we'll get to get tips from this. It's just normal tips. So we can get some little tips from that, and then also, because of the fact that we accidentally accepted it twice, they give us now double rewards. Any more jobs? Wait, what? Retrieve some supplies. It just what's the name of it? Thin the horde. Oh, ask to kill a few zombies to thin the horde. Kill twenty. Oh, any zombie. Twenty zombies. Wait, does that mean we can actually just do it anywhere, or are we going to have to go on the map somewhere? Can I literally just go? Let me just check this quickly. If I can just kill zombies in the vicinity, we can just quickly hand it back into him now. Okay, let me see. Then the horde, 1 out of 20. Nice. Okay, so, yeah, it, while we're here, I definitely passed some zombies just now, but uh, finding 20 is going to be a problem. I think I passed the pure eye on the way here. There might actually be a ton of zombies in there, but if you go that far now, basically it's this pure eye. There's a pure eye over there. Can I find 20 zombies in this vicinity quickly? A few of the zombies that are spawning in right now are dying, like this fat dude over here that just killed over. 
Not all of them are alive for some reason. Yes, okay, wait, 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 wait. Are you just feral? Yeah, you're just a normal zombie. I, for a moment, I thought it was the Wandering Horde. Guys, while I was mining all that stone at the base, we actually got another Wandering Horde come through. Um, but this time around, it was just radiated uh, ferals. That's it. There was no Titan or anything among them, but there were so many of them. It's like the hordes are getting bigger and bigger. Come on, let me just quickly do this. 7 out of 20. Come on. Since I'm new to the area, all the zombies should start spawning in for me. And I can, if I can one-shot kill them like this, I just need to quickly find a few zombies. I wonder if there's any PRIs or something in the, dis in the vicinity that I might be able to go to. Except the obvious one close. You know, let me just quickly go to the building. If I can just quickly wake up the uh, zombies in the building, that's going to be 20 easy. But see, there's zombies following me all over. As soon as I turn my back, more zombies start spawning in because we're in a new area. 10 more zombies, but it feels like it's going to take forever. Any more zombies? Come on, come on, come on. There you go, there you go. If I barely have to drive to find the next one, that's going to be awesome. I wonder what the third quest of him is going to be, though. The fact that the first quest just now was an easy dig quest, but there were so many zombies inside over there. As we kind of worried for number three. If number 20 is easy, just 20 zombies. And you don't have to activate anything that might spawn more zombies. Okay, seven more zombies. Let's just really go to this POI. There's definitely going to be seven zombies in this place. I hope. Imagine it's a dud. Yeah, 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 come for me. Come on, where's the zombies? You can't tell me there's this few in this place. We just came from that side when you go upstairs. Please, I need zombies. If I can get some bookcases out there, that's gonna be awesome. That's gonna be the cherry on the cake. I just need to kill five more zombies. Come on, box. Yes, thank you. Oh, and the zombies in the vicinity are coming for me as well. Nice. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I forgot about this. The knife is fast and you can get some nice amount of scrap polymers this way. Where are you? Outside. Let me just get everything inside of here. It seems like it, right? I don't think there's anything else in this place. So all I have to do is just quickly kill a few zombies. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Where are you? Two more, just two more, come on. On the way back, oh, there's a zombie right there as well. I was about to say, on the way back to Razor, we'll definitely come across a zombie. But if they're right here by us... Oh, crap. Uh, there's no need to worry. Okay, let's just quickly go hand this into Razor. Let's just get our bike quickly. You are... And I am Jean. Nice to make your acquaintance again. Man. Okay, so, uh, let's see. Great. Ooh, I'm gonna take more ammo like this because that's gonna help me later. That's still I can sell. Any more jobs? Clear the outpost. Ooh. Ooh. What does this do? It just says clear the outpost. Oh, it's right there. Oh, it's in our town. Nice. So next episode we're gonna do is we're quickly gonna go over here. We're gonna clear this out. We're gonna hand in our quest to the trader and then come back to Razor. But now I think I'm just gonna call the episode here, guys, because we are a little bit past time. So if you guys like this episode, please like it share with your friends. Uh, any comments, tips or feedback, did I miss anything, what I think about this episode, anything at all, leave your comments down below. And if you guys are new to this channel, please remember to hit the subscribe button for more of this content. See you guys next time for some more Darkest Falls fun. A big thank you to all my members and patrons for your support. To join them in supporting the channel, please click join or the Patreon link in the description down below.